I'm going to struggle with enough for how much? And what was 120 million? I person going to people this climb up. And as God will have it, there's a the victim. I said, look at you now. <laughs> Two weeks. And he has come here to show the reason why he left early. <laughs> yeah, he was quite far. The knee was far. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we saw that yesterday, last night, right? Big Brother brought in three guests to trill the housemates to make sure that these housemates, you know, are calm, enjoy. It was, it was like the comedy night. So three comedians came into the house. One of them was an ex-housemate, right? D1. Now, D1 came, the stalker came, um, my brother came, right? At the end of the show, it was, it was really funny, right? I mean, my brother really killed the show. Now, D1 came, right? And I think that um, the house, some of the house would feel like he was below par in terms of his delivery. You understand what I'm saying? Like, he didn't deliver, he didnn't crack the housemates up. I mean, Kim at some point was literally, like, dozing off. Maybe she was pretending or whatever. We don't know, but of course, it felt like Kim Oprah was dozing off. And then after D1's performance, right, because White Money, right, was the person who was asked to MC the show. We were told Suma to choose somebody to MC the show, and he chose White Money, right? Now, after, you know, White Money became the MC and all of that, he called D1 off, D1 performed. Boom. But White Money wanted to call the second person. But before he read out the, you know, the profile of the next person, White Money now said that D1 was not funny. Literally, like, it felt like White Money was trying to shade the one for his performance because really the housemate did not laugh. It's that story, don't they finish up? If you know you're on the island here yeah, and he was talking about you, well, then meet him, we can, this Sunday, go meet him for the complete story. As for people like us... And then White Money invited the next comedian, which is the stalker. I mean, some of the housemates still did not really laugh, you know. When they said it was the stalker, they screamed, they were excited, boom. When the guy was performing, he hardly laughed. Some people were just like staring. Someone like Angel, she had her, you know, mood jangle over, you know, at that point. She literally was in, maybe it was around Apollo's time that she started laughing. And then when Apollo came, Apollo killed it. I personally was laughing where I was, right? I mean, Apollo killed the show. The housemates literally laughed their brains out. They were excited. I mean, at the end of the day, I think it was worth it. But when I checked social media, a lot of people were also like, some people, not everybody. Right? Some people said D1 was funny, but a lot of people were dragging D1 online saying that after so many years of living Big Brother, you know, this and that. But let me know what your highlight was during the comedy session. If you watch the comedy night, let me know what your highlight was in the comedy session for the night. Do you think that D1 really tried? Who do you think was the best? I personally, I think that world was great. My, my opinion, I think the world was great. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Moving on to my next just we'll see the fact that, you know, Kim Opera. It's jealous of the fact that Cross kissed Alibi, right? Um, you know, he looked at the fact that Kim, Kim Alpro likes Cross, and I think Cross also likes her. But of course, it feels like, you know, Kim is also kind of moving towards Perry, because she was telling Perry that Perry doesn't have her time. But here it is, right? Kim was talking to Perry about the fact that why would Cross be kissing Alibi in that manner? I mean, why would he do that? He knows that he has friends and he has some people that are crushing on him. He shouldn't be kissing Alibi like that. Yesterday we saw the fact that Soma screamed at the housemate. I mean, for the first time we saw Soma in his in his angry elements, right? Because apparently he was telling the housemates, "Come to the lounge, come to the lounge," and the next thing he just blew, "Come to the lounge." Everybody in the main lounge. And finally, in this video, we see the fact that the housemates have won their wager, right? Um, it was an exciting one to watch, right? After their performance and all of that, we would have waited till after the comedy night and then announced to the housemates that they have won their wager. And, well, a lot of them were happy. I don't know why Doyle was not really, you know, she, she was quite excited, but she was just giving a straight face. And yes, tonight is going to be the Saturday night party. And trust me to bring you the after party highlights. Something always goes down after the Saturday night party. And of course, I'll be here to bring you all the highlights of everything that happened powered by Mini Mini Noodles. All right, guys, go to the comment section. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so guys will get notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on TikTok and follow me at the Family Daniel. Until next time, I'll come over again very soon. It's bye for now.